Santa's Dog, written by Joanne Skye, illustrated by Ed Kohler. Sometimes the best gifts choose you. The North Pole has a secret of wags and licks and barks. Santa has a hundred dogs that live in one big park. The dogs and reindeer play their games. Some days they race on sleds. Though Santa loved them all the same, one dog slept on Santa's bed. Lance held a very special place in Santa's big, kind heart. The pair had been forever friends and never were apart. Each Christmas Eve, Lance rode the sleigh. I love my job, he said. One year, the winds were way too fierce. Lance fell, falls over head. He tumbled down a mountainside and landed far away. The town's dog shelter took him in. He had a place to stay. When Santa saw that Lance was safe, he chose to carry on. The night was short, his list so long, he'd circle back at dawn. When all was done, he went for Lance. The pickup went astray. The shelter doors were all locked up, for it was Christmas Day. He could go in, but that's not right, because Santa gives, not takes. He knew that Lance would understand. It still made his heart ache. Next early morn, a family came to find a special friend. This family soon would need someone on whom they could depend. Their dad was headed far away, a soldier strong and true. It was a fact, dad's bags were packed. What would the family do? The soldier looked at Lance and knew this dog would be the one to keep his family safe and sound until his job was done. Lance went along to his new home, worked hard with his new crew. He thought of Santa now and then. That's all that he could do. Lance fetched the ball for little John while Dad was far away. He acted guard for Mom each night when noises called dismay. And late at night, when all was calm, he'd check on Sister Shay. Then climb beside her on the bed and chase bad dreams away. The months sped by, the seasons too. Lance kept the family strong. They played, they laughed. Each day that passed, it seemed like Lance belonged. Next Christmas Eve, Lance packed his things and listened for the sleigh. 
To his surprise, tears filled his eyes. He blinked them all away. When Santa came, Lance jumped for joy, then said to his dear friend, I'm packed to go, but I don't know if this should be the end. And Santa said, I saw you here in this fine home with family full of love. Their pain was real. Their need was clear. I watched you from above. You've made me proud these last 12 months. Helped family fill a hole. But now it's time to stay or go. Look deep within your soul. Lance thought of all the fun he'd had with Rudolph and the others. But this year held some goodness with the children and their mother. The walls and shelves were covered full of photos through the year. Lance with the boy, the girl, the mom. They loved him. It was clear. Then Santa spoke. I know you, boy. You want to do what's right. A soldier's job is never done. This won't be Dad's last fight. One day, real soon, when Dad comes home from duties overseas, he still may need some help, you see. Our freedom isn't free. I'd miss you every single day and say a prayer for you. But you've become this family's glue. Dear friend, so strong and true. Lance looked up to the fireplace, five stockings in a row. He saw his name, had heard Mom claim, he's one of us, you know. Lance took a breath, then stood up tall. He knew what he must do. Unpack his dish, his toy, his mat, and tell his friend adieu. Please say goodbye to Mrs. Claus, to Tinsel and the rest. I love you all, but here I'll stay, and I will give my best. I'll wait for you each Christmas Eve beneath the lighted tree. But now I know my place is here with my new family. So Santa gave the greatest gift, his dog. Perhaps it's true that sheltered dogs are just like Lance, a special gift to you. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, Santa's Dog. Grandma has to say that when you get a pet from a shelter, rescue animals are the best pets ever because they know that you have saved them. Grandma has adopted many pets from the shelter. In fact, recently. <laughs> and I have to say, they are the sweetest, most loving pets. So if you want a special pet, like a dog or a cat, which I have gotten both, <laughs> you 
go to the shelter because you can walk around and look at all those sweet, sweet dogs and cats, and they'll pick you, and you can find the one that just, just looks at you, and you just know, and it might just be a special gift from Santa. You never know. <laughs> now, Click that thumbs up button and let grandma know how much you like this story. But most of all, make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, grandma.